This Week in History, The Cold War, 1946. Cast out of the British government after a shock defeat in 1945, Winston Churchill shrewdly saw an opportunity to once again be on the world stage. In a handwritten letter to Churchill, President Harry Truman asked him to speak at Westminster College, Missouri, a seemingly small and unknown university. Churchill accepted, and his The Sinews of Peace speech would go down as one of the most important orations the former PM would ever give. In it, Churchill emphasized the importance of the special relationship between the U.S. and the U.K. But what brought immediate international attention was his now famous declaration, From Stettin in the Baltic to Trieste in the Adriatic, an iron curtain has descended across the continent. As the post-World War II alliance rapidly fractured, in his ever prescient manner, Churchill warned of the inherent danger of the Soviet hegemony if left unchecked. He further cautioned that in the 1930s, no one had listened in regards to Germany, and one by one, they were all sucked into the awful whirlpool, ending with, we surely must not let this happen again. Although the speech was not as favorably received at the time, the phrase Iron Curtain became part of the West vernacular as the Cold War division strengthened. The speech is of such import that Russian historians mark this as the beginning of the Cold War. They saw Churchill. He is my man. I didn't stutter. I usually stutter. When I was studying in the UK, a lot of people were like, special relationship, eh? And so like that special relationship was like, hey. I told a lot of people I was Canadian. It was, it was an interesting time. For more content, visit us on historynet.com and join the discussion on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.